Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls. We're here on part 41, picking up right where we left off. We just kindled the bonfire after taking out Santos, King Jeremiah. I uh, forgot to spend the souls, so let's quickly level up. Get our final point of endurance. That'll do it. Okay, so we got vitality endurance, we got strength, dexterity, and now we're just gonna get our intelligence and faith all the way up. So, 40 levels to go. It's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a marathon. But where they say, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? Take you out. Take these guys out. Now, uh, as far as where to go next. Um, See if I can kill these guys first in one go properly. So we'll try and be a more careful. We'll get close by. And we'll hold it down, use it all the way. Oh no, they interrupted me. No. No. And I just realized I should probably switch out back to my wolf ring, because I think I still have the silver serpent ring. Those squishy bodies. These guys are prime targets for that notched whip that we picked up off of Xanthos. I have to think he's just whipping these guys all day. Because this place is kind of like a purgatory kind of thing, right? Um, like I said, it's just sort of this limbo. I think limbo is a better term. This world between worlds kind of thing where you're sort of just rotting away forever. Um, so yeah, we need a key to go there, which we will get eventually. Now, Come on here. Let's make our way up the stairs. Uh, that door we can't open yet either. Uh, come up here. Oh wait, you know what? Actually, no. Yeah, let's go this way first. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of this guy now. So I want to be quick here because yeah, once you start moving. Once you see the wing fall off, the animation starts. Um, and oh lordy, come! So let's get out of here, because I don't even know. He, I feel like he'll knock you off and die. <laughs> that happens, so be careful. Now, to fight him is super easy. All you have to do just smack him on one side, then he'll spit poison. And then all you do is run up to the other part and smack him. And then, okay, he's still gonna spit poison down there. Then once he starts shooting poison down the middle here. Oh god, okay, don't stay too close, otherwise <laughs> we'll do that, of course. It's a full back heal bit. And just sort of repeat, we'll bait out the attack down here. And run on him. Get in a hit or two. Fall back this time. Smack him in the head some more. We'll do that. Now we attack him down here. And one more hit will do it. Just like that. He's down. And for our efforts, we get, I think, another dragon scale. But uh, that shield we picked up is kind of cool. The uh, blood shield, I think it was. Something like that. Yeah, blood shield. So, um, it's nothing too special, right? It's just 100. Got 100 physical, so it's like what I consider a good shield. Um, it's got decent overall, and I think it's got some other effect, right? Where Most legends, the red of blood is slightly enchanted and boosts various resistances. Yeah, so I think it's like it'll help you with like bleed resistance and poison resistance and things like that, more so than your usual shield. So definitely a contender for one of the cooler shields in the game. But you know me, I'm gonna stick with the dragon crest, which we can see in a much better view here. So right here, this is his lower half, and uh, it's actually one of the dragon butts from uh, Lost Isolith. Now, um, this thing here, you can hit it all you want, but it ain't gonna budge, and you can't uh, you can't kill it. But there's a secret password. If you do a jumping attack, then he gets up, and now you can uh, pass through. And this is actually a shortcut, and you can get to the boss without having to open the door properly, but we're gonna do things properly for you guys. But I wanted to still show you that case. In case you're in a hurry, and you ain't got no time to actually play the level. 
But like I said, people, uh, someone put a lot of time into making this level, so I would recommend <laughs> experiencing it for them. And I think okay, this just takes us back up where we were. And okay, no, I'm wrong. We can actually go higher up in the tower. So let's do that. And uh, fight some of these crow bros. Which I don't. Obviously, they're not actually called crow bros, but no. Now watch out too, because they do have this one nasty jumping attack, and if they hit you with that, you're gonna be hurting. Okay. Making our way up. I don't. Are there any more? Yeah. Can't be real careful. I'd rather just poise through. And okay, that's the attack. When you see them sort of do that, either hit them to stagger them or um, get ready to roll. So yeah, get our wolf ring back on. It's good to know. Yeah. So this Arturus armor has some pretty good poise. Then. So up here we get this big dramatic thing, and it's a pretty cool item. It's the red sign soapstone. If you remember, the white sign soapstone is how you do cooperate cooperation. It's how you get summoned, and then you'll help out someone fight the boss and complete the level. The red sign soapstone is kind of the opposite. You put down your sign, and then uh, and you get summoned, but you get summoned as an invader, which means you'll be fighting the host. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool item because it essentially is like consenting duels, right? <laughs> like normally with invasions, you're invading, which means you're uh, disrupting someone's time. Whereas if you put down the sign, no one's going to summon you unless they want you. And of course, you're not going to put down your sign unless you want to be summoned. So everyone's all on board. So very fun time. Uh, now... Oh, I think we just dropped down here. Yeah, because to get to that is from... The locked door section. It's old Ray Warrior. Uh, the only thing with the soapstone, it's you wonder what's even doing here. It's uh, it's obviously somewhat evil in origin, right? Because it's the red evil soapstone. But uh, like I said, the way it actually works mechanically is definitely more of a gentleman way to do things. Okay, that was creepy. Okay, I don't know how to get down from here. I think it's back this way. Right? No. Oh, is this where the... Oh, okay. Remember when I said we can drop down to fight the rats? Well, that's right here. Let's jump over here. And that'll take us back here. And I don't actually want to be in here since then we're going to have to fight a bunch of guys again. So, how about we... Yeah, I got, I got plenty of homeward bones. Honestly, I don't even know if we're going to burn through all those before the... Definitely not before the next New Game Plus, but... Once we're doing new game plus, maybe. All right, so now we have to kill this Valix again. I think I'm just gonna run past them this time, to be honest. Because where we have to go next is actually, actually, let's go this way first. Uh, did I go in here? Oh, I think this is how we get to that item I was telling you guys about on the rope. Yeah. So just shot this ambush, no problem ourselves proud knight and okay that archer can still see us so we'll cut this down now and then uh next time we're at the bonfire we'll pick that up and back this way and i think that was just humanity so it's not even like it's anything too special uh what's down here oh does this take us okay actually yeah i wanted to go down this way anyway so yeah yeah okay i'll, I'll show the other way out on the way now okay be careful, because we got those bone wheels here, which, if you remember, these guys can be a real pain to fight. Thankfully, there's no necromancer. Ooh. No necromancer, so they, uh, they're they going to go down right away. One running attack will do it. Let's see here. Now, definitely take the time to uh, kill these guys out in the open, because there's going to be a bit of like a close quarters area up ahead and that's when it gets nasty when you when you're cornered and trapped <laughs> they get you so you can better up yeah Let's see when these guys aren't actually killing me um i do find them to be one of the funniest enemies in the game because besides like when you're not actually getting killed by them 
that. Just they're so goofy and weird. <laughs> but anyway, right here. This is easy to miss. But you want to turn it, because this is how we open the main path. The door has opened. Some more souls. And uh, there is one more thing we want down here. Which is around here somewhere. Is this, is this a hidden wall? No. It's definitely around here somewhere, though. Right? Hello? Okay, there's got to be a hidden wall somewhere there. One of these walls? I know there's more to it down here. I swear there's more. Uh, am I disoriented? Oh, here we go. Okay. This is obviously that's the <laughs> wall. Okay, I think. Oh, okay. I thought that wall. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I got turned around, as always. Um, just like I said, down here, there's a lot of hidden walls. I don't know if there's any more bone wheels. Probably are. Yep, here's one. Came out. Um, I think there's just. Yeah, an executor. That's what we want. And I think there's a ladder out of here. A lot of hidden walls. I, mean, like, I don't know why they do that because, you know, obviously, once you get the first one, you know that the rest are going to be like that. Um, okay, here's uh, some stairs. Oh, this guy's got a... Yeah, Pyromancy. So that's how you can shoot those. It's kind of like a long-range fireball. Pretty cool Pyromancy. I actually equip that one. But I think... I swear there's a ladder out of here somewhere. Um, oops, probably in this direction. Yeah, poise, poise is probably the best way to deal with these skeleton bones, because... The only reason I'm getting lucky with that is since I have enough poise. If you don't, that first hit will stagger you, and then they keep hitting you again and again. Anyway, here's the ladder. I told you I'm not crazy. And then this will take us right back into the phalanx yard. This time, again, we're not going to deal with them. We're going to just run. Oh. I think they're going to throw us here soon. Anyway, the annex key takes us to... I guess this is the annex. Um... Yeah, it's basically just more of the same. <laughs> a few more items to get though, so we're definitely gonna wanna explore up here. Uh, let's start let's start by killing this guy, because No! Okay. Uh, I think I got one more. Right, right, I have one more. Yeah, there we go. Alright, no more though, so if I get toxic again, it's gonna be like Three justice. You know what? Let's uh let's do what we can to not get toxic. And as you can see, even though we were right on him, since we killed him with fire. Yeah, my pyromancy is better than yours, boy. Okay, so this is a crow drop-off point, I believe. Maybe it's after we pick up the item. Which as you can see, it's another ember. Yeah, here they are. Get out of here. Thank you for lining up. Um, let's see what we get. The courtyard. Let's see, yeah, the Dark Amber. Like I said, um, the gods put everything that they're afraid of and that they hate into the painted world. And uh, the Dark Ember lets us make uh, occult weapons. And I think I talked about occult when, uh, when we first picked an, an occult club from Havel's set. It's, uh, it does bonus damage against the gods, so of course the uh, gods are not going to be wanting that. <laughs> um, so they hit it here. But that's why so that's why I was saying is you may want to come here first before doing Anor Londo, because uh, the Silver Knights and Ornstein and Smoke count as god enemies, so you'll uh, 
could definitely be a good idea to come and uh, get yourself a cult weapon and then um, have an easier time with them. But uh, as you, since we're obviously fought them, we, we were able to do it, no problem. Vow of Silence, which is, uh, that's a miracle, which I believe, I'll, I'll check the description in a second here, but I believe it, uh, it lets you, when you cast it near an enemy, like a player enemy, they can't cast spells anymore. So, uh, prevents casting of magic within the effect area. So again, that kind of ties into Velka because Velka would cast that and then the gods can't do their spells and then they're screwed. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of which, we also got Velka's rapier before, as you saw, which is, uh, that's the weapon that Oscar the partner uses, which we haven't fought him. So that's why we don't know that. And then there should be one more item to get. Uh, we might have to drop down from up there, I just realized. And then I think we're all set to take on the boss. Um, oh no, we go this way. Uh, yeah, so right here, we get his set. So now we can cosplay as the man himself. Do a roll, what is it? Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go down here now. And, uh, yeah, let's head towards, head towards the boss. So all that's left is this one final gauntlet. And you'll see why it's called it, why I'm calling it a gauntlet in a second here. Seems easy enough, just two archers, but I believe there's an ambush around here somewhere. And it's like going to be a pretty big ambush at that. Oh yeah, here we go. I mean, only four, not too bad. Not bad at all. And, oh yeah, so he's there. Ah, uh, he said peekaboo. I think he dropped down from up there, which is why he just appeared out of nowhere. But I think, I think is this the first Baronique Knight that's using a great sword? It might actually be. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Let's get our stamina back. Oh, I was just a little short. Ow. Okay, this guy's giving me a little bit of trouble, actually. But, uh, we're, we're slowly taking him out. Okay, well. Thankfully, we had enough poison. there. All that for a large type of charge, well. Anyway, I'm not too worried that we're a little low on Estus. Because you'll see in a second, you'll see in a second. Um, I thought there were two knights. I thought there were two. I guess there's only one. Anyway, let's go to the boss. And this is going to be a unique boss, because you'll see. This is Priscilla. Let's uh, see what she has to say. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, Thine desires shall be requited not. So, uh, yeah. Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. So, uh, yeah, she is not Hasa. We can talk with her. And she's basically just telling us to GTFO. <laughs> um, because like she said, all the outcasts are here, kind of just made it their home. Um, right here, we'll get the Xanthos set, by the way. If you, have to, you have to be invaded and kill Jeremiah for that to appear, but... Let's go ahead and take the plunge for her. Get this cutscene. That we get kicked out of the painted world. Uh -huh. Ooh, careful, because none of them actually notice <laughs> you right off the bat. Um, that being said, though, she is a boss, and we are boss hunting, so we are definitely not done. I'm gonna go right back in where we came, and uh, I'm gonna go rest at the bonfire, and then I'm gonna meet you guys back at the at the boss. Got me ran the button. Okay, so coming back. I just ran 
past everyone. Uh, yeah, watch out by the door, because enemies can still smack you through the door. Anyway, um, yes, so this is Priscilla. Uh, once we attack her, she's going to get hostile. And as you can see, she has a tail, which means we need to cut it off. And once the fight gets going, you'll see why this is actually possibly the hardest tail to get. <laughs> Um, so with that being said, let's, um, we only get one opportunity here where she's going to be not nice like this, um, because afterwards, if we die and have to come back, she's not going to be very nice. So let's, uh, get big damage in on the tail here. I expected as much from the and then she's invisible. <laughs> yeah, uh, she won't be invisible the entire time. Uh, watch out though, because yeah, you can see her footsteps there, kind of give away her position. Uh, I want to be careful here because the problem is we do so much damage that uh, we might actually kill her accidentally first. Oh boy. I, I think she goes visible if she, I let her hit me. Not. Oh god. Yeah, she does. She has bleed on her weapon, so be careful. I think I have to actually damage her. Oh god, she's already like almost dead. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, my initial swing, I think, did a lot of damage on her tail. Okay, I'm very glad that that went so smoothly. So, now we can finish her off really easy. She's, uh, as you can see, once she's... Being invisible is her only gimmick. She's actually... Okay, well, if I don't miss, then she can go down way easy. Yeah, we're coming here pretty late game. As, uh, imagine having to fight her with, like, only a plus 10 weapon best at best kind of deal. And this makes a lot more sense. But she's going to go down well, fairly easily if I can get my spacing right. Anyway, she's a... Uh, that's Priscilla. A um, bit of a sad boss, actually. Her backstory is kind of tragic. Um, so specifically what she is, is um, kind of controversial. As you saw, she was like... She looked human, right? She had like human features, but she also had dragon features, like a tail and uh, scales. If we look a little more closely to her skin, which means uh, she's half dragon, half human, or rather half god, actually. And uh, that means you need a dragon parent and a human and a god parent. So and I think this is just the same cutscene where we jump off. Speaking of that cutscene, by the way, the first time I did that, um, I thought the game would troll me, and like as soon as it faded to black. I was 100% ready ready to see you die. <laughs> uh, that, that would have been awful if they, if they did that. But anyway, oh, uh, hello. Yeah. Me, uh, all right. Me asking for it. Uh, so let's use the homeward bone. This is actually probably going to take me back into the whole painted world. Anyway, Priscilla, right? Oh, it actually takes me. Uh, so Priscilla, like I said, she's half dragon, half human. So, sorry, half dragon, half god. So who could the parents be, right? So we know some dragons and we know some gods or goddesses. Uh, I'll give you a hint that her, the goddess is her mom and the dragon is her dad. So what dragon was allowed to just sort of uh, snoop around in Anne Orlando and happened to be obsessed with um, maidens? Well, that's our, our boy Seath, of course. And uh, the lucky lady was uh, Guinevere. Yes. Um, Seath went ahead and we don't know if like he straight up kidnapped Guinevere into his rape dungeon or something but um or if she was into it but either way she got knocked up by Seath <laughs> and Priscilla was the result of that now uh if you remember the backstory of the painted world Gwyn wasn't very proud that um she existed at all and um ashamed embarrassed couldn't bring her to the family dinners and all that so she got thrown into the painted world so very sad she was unwanted and sort of just left there and uh i believe that the doll the peculiar doll i think it's called right uh this believe was our she clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely paint abomination with no place in the world yeah those are the key that's the key sentence there this belonged to priscilla because she was not wanted very sad but um we kind of put her our put her out of her misery but you know, even there, it's like she said that they were peaceful and happy, so I think uh, might be the bad guys in that one, guys. <laughs> uh, either way, we're done, so it doesn't matter too much. 
Um, you can make her a cool weapon with her scythe, the, uh, the life hunt scythe it's called. It's got a cool effect where I think it can actually regenerate your health or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works, I've never used it. And I uh, got too much of an Artorius sword here to use something else. But anyway, that is, uh, that's going to do it for the Paint the World, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. And that's actually going to do it for pretty much the whole game <laughs> um, at this point. Uh, we have a little bit more business, of course, to wrap up before we're actually really done. Uh, that, but that business being the actual finale of the game, I think we're we're done with all of our loose ends. Uh, actually, no, we can do we can do one more. Let's let's go to the undead parish because we actually have a whole bunch of embers to give <laughs> Andre. So let's see what he has to say about our all of our treasure that we found for him. I think I'm also going to change out of the Artorius armor. I, I like I like Artorius, don't get me wrong, but just look at the armor. It's like a little too, like, just like uh, rotten. I don't know. Just like, it's it's the legs, really, that do it for me. Like, just look at that. That, that don't look good. Uh, we still have one more armor set to get, which is going to be one of my favorites. But we'll get that in the next episode. Oh, wait, can you actually? Yeah, you can kind of see my face there. Anyway, let's stay focused. That's the very large ember he's talking about. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done, you shall see. That he will. So, yeah, like I said, you can use that to make your plus 15 weapons. I'll be seeing you next, Beaker. And uh, we have some more to give. Oh, my. What a brilliant ember you have there. I've only heard legends of such specimens. The embers used for the secret rites of divine blacksmiths. Perhaps you could lend it to me. I've long dreamed of forging divine weapons. Yep, that's the large divine ember we found in the in the, the tomb of the giants. Seeing you then. Be careful. That you can make your plus ten divine weapons. And then finally. Show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Yes. Well, thank you. This ember. under its spell I sense great potential indeed alrighty and with that I think that's all the embers we have I'll be seeing you then be careful kind of shows goes into showing you how cool Andre's character is that's why I like him he doesn't have an agenda he's not trying to screw you over or anything he just loves blacksmithing and he's fascinated with embers so real cool guy we'll give him a give him a bow for helping us out so much but with that that's actually gonna do it for this episode guys um hope you had fun watching i had fun making it and uh yeah we'll see you next time which uh is possibly going to be the finale of uh our first playthrough so see you then